G'day, Mark Allen for 4x4 Australia Magazine. A 12 volt winch is the true essence of a get out of jail free card when it comes to four wheel driving. Now it doesn't matter whether you're a weekend warrior or a remote area tourer or anything in between. Having a 12 volt winch bolted to your bull bar is just like a badge of honor. We've assembled seven of the best electric winches available off the shelves in Australia for a no holds bar tug of war. We asked each supplier for 9,500 pound winches with synthetic rope. Now there's a huge variation in motor horsepower ratings, final ratios, current draws and the supplied accessories. And in no particular order, we've got a worn Xeon winch, a worn Magnum, a Sherpa Mustang, a TJM Torque winch, a Thunder winch, a Bushranger Seal winch and a Runva EWX winch. Our test method involves pulling a dedicated tractor pull sled loaded with concrete weights along a preset gravel track. We used a load tension cell to determine the overall resistance to be about 5 tonne. Our test method is totally fair to all winches and puts them under massive loads to see how far and how fast each winch will pull under that load. We've collected a massive amount of data by measuring motor and gearbox temperatures, amperage draw and timed every single winch pull to be sure of our final winner's choice. Our testing process involved a winch duty cycle of winching for a constant 60 seconds, followed by a cool down period of 10 minutes, then another 60 seconds of winching, 10 minutes cool down, and so on, until each winch completed our 20 meter test bed. Some winches only needed four pulls to complete the 20 meters, while others needed up to seven pulls. There was a huge difference in horsepower ratings, final pull ratios and amperage draw. Some winches topped over 100 degrees Celsius and pulled over 400 amps. But you'll need to grab a copy of the magazine to have a gander at all that info. Let's talk about what broke during this test. Even though all manufacturers state that you should have 6, 8 or even 10 wraps of rope on the drum before winching under load to prevent the rope slipping on the drum, We actually had three winch ropes break free from their retaining bolts even though the breakages occurred with one, two or even three complete layers of rope wound on. We had most of the thimbles distort under load. There were no total failures but they mostly bent and closed around the eye and distort where the clevis pin is. The only exception was the superior design of both the worn winches thimbles that are a much better design. The worn Magnum was the only winch to show any distress during the fourth and fifth winch pull with smoke coming from the motor end. I can't stress enough how dangerous winching is. Because we had to be close to the action to take recordings, we took extra precautions with a timber wall. Now it sloped to deflect either the rope or the hardware if anything should fail and fly back at us. Plus, we used a dedicated weighted rope dampener and tied it back to the sled to help prevent anything from firing back at us as well. And a massive thanks to everybody that helped me in this test. Without you guys, I couldn't have done this. Todd from Momentum 4x4 in Warhope for your hands-on help. The team at Maitland Steam and Antique Machinery Association for your use of the sled as well as your many willing hands. Mainly Bob Pritchard, Paul Tibbetts, Ian Lovey and Andrew Roberts Thompson. Thanks to Century Batteries for supplying the deep cycle batteries to form our huge battery bank of power to run the winches. Thanks to Christie Engineering for the loan of their 120 amp petrol powered battery charger to keep our battery bank in tip top condition. And of course, a massive thank you goes out to the suppliers and manufacturers of all of these winches. Without your help, we just simply couldn't bring these types of articles to our readers and viewers. Thanks a ton. Now I'm happy to award the winner of 4x4 Australia's massive winch test to the Runva EWX winch with a very close second and runner up to the TJM Torque winch. Both winches performed exceptionally well even though they have very different specifications. So congratulations to you both. If you're a 4x4 club or run a 4x4 event, I reckon having a sled pull competition would be an absolute ripper event to include. Now this one is for hire, so if you're interested, contact Ian at the Maitland Steam and Antique Machinery Association 
on ianlovey at gmail.com. And make sure you grab yourself a copy of 4x4 Australia magazine for the complete rundown on each winch, as well as all of the data we collected, because there's a heap of useful information to help you choose your next winch. <laughs>